This is the brass sit. This one is going to go from a climb, dropping down into it. You don't have to go up very high. You can go one climb or as high up as you want. No inverting required. Okay. If you're already comfortable with your brass monkey, this is actually part of a brass monkey. Okay. But for those of you that are working towards your brass monkey, this is a really great stepping stone to start taking that step of the placement of where the pole is going to go on your knee. Okay. So for this one, eventually, like I said, you can go whatever height you want, but initially as you're working on this one, you're going to go just a single climb, like save your energy. No reason to climb all the way up every time. So just a single climb. Okay, so you want to make sure you're already doing a um, forearm or a half bracket climb because that's kind of crucial to getting the knee placement correct for this uh, brass sit. So in a forearm climb, you've got this distance being held by this forearm. Okay, so whichever forearm is down, that's going to end up being the knee that's going to hook for your brass sit. Okay, it doesn't matter which leg is climbing first, you can go either way, but what does matter is which form you're being used is using. So whichever form you're using, that's the one that you're going to hook in your knee. Okay. So we're just going to go a single climb up. I'm going to sit my butt down. So my thighs are relatively parallel to the ground. I'm going to use my forearm there and I'm going to crunch my butt away from that forearm. And I'm squeezing with my knees. See, even if I open my legs, my knees are still squeezing. So I'm going to crunch my butt to the side, get it in that knee. See how much I'm really tilting, slide my hands down, and lean back okay and you can hook this foot initially if you want to but the pole is going to end up from the knee all the way up to bottom of your butt there okay and then that's where we start to get into that brass sit okay so when you get into this one um common things that go wrong is a not staying with the forearm because that helps you keep the distance. If we don't use the forearm, the pole's gonna slip into our inner thighs, okay? So this doesn't go from a pole sit. Eventually, when you're 100% savvy with this one, you can transition to it from a pole sit, but I consider that to be a more difficult way to get into it. So you definitely wanna get comfortable with it this way, getting it in that knee placement, okay? So um, whichever forearm, you're gonna crunch your butt that way. Let's look at it straight on so you can kind of see what's going on here. As I said earlier, it doesn't matter which climb you're doing, it's which form, okay? So if my left leg is in front, it's already there, or I can switch it, it doesn't matter, okay? Because if I'm squeezing with my knees. So if you look at it straight on, you're gonna see my butt is gonna crunch away from my forearm. Crunch, keep crunching, leaning to the side. See how diagonal I am as I slide down? Lean back is very important. If I pull in, I lose that crucial little seal that I had going on here, okay? so. You don't have to slide your hands. If you feel more comfortable, you can go hand over hand. That's fine. Something to keep in mind. When I'm demoing this right now, I'm going relatively slow so that you can see the steps. When you are first learning this, I strongly encourage you to, as soon as you get it in that knee, drop your hands as quickly as you can, okay? Because the longer you leave your hands up there, the more likely you are to lose this point of contact here in your knee, okay? So to feel where that point of contact is without having to do this drop down, it looks really weird and awkward to get into it, but this sometimes kind of helps you can feel where the placement is. If I stand to the side of the pole, I'm gonna bring my knee and like to the side. So if I'm like here, I don't wanna be like behind it, okay? Like to the side or even a little bit in front. I'm gonna bring my knee up to the side and then I'm gonna push my crotch through, okay? So see how much the pole is to the outside of my thigh? Then I'm gonna bend this leg, sink, 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 until it catches the outside of my butt, okay? So you can drop into your brass sit this way. Like I said, stand to the side, bring this leg up, bend that standing leg, and really think of pushing your butt past the pole. I don't wanna be in line with it. I wanna actually push past as I lean back so I can get it into that spot. Okay, so you can just step into it this way, like I said, it's not the prettiest way into it, but it is a nice way to start to feel where that contact point is, is that you should feel it all at the outside of this thigh. So basically your goal is to get as much surface area on the pole as you can, okay? So let's look at what this looks like dropping down and let's talk about what your hands are doing. Okay, so we're gonna go single climb up, sit the butt down, use that forearm, squeeze with the knees, crunch my butt to the side, slide the hands down as I lean back. If it's in the right place and you're like, okay, I'm good. The same hand as me is going to drop fingers down. Okay. Drop the other leg and then think of lifting your chest to the ceiling. Okay. And then you can make whatever shapes you want here. It can be a tuck. It can be straight, whatever you want it to be. Okay. 
coming out, you can pull it back up to a climb, you can come down. We're gonna work on all kinds of transitions coming out of this, okay? So this is your brass sit. It's a stepping stone for getting into your drop down into your brass monkey. Um, it actually be, is the beginning of a lot of my favorite static rotations. So this is a really good one to start to get comfortable with. Also a great pose for photo shoots. Okay, so play around with it. Definitely work on it on both sides, okay? Even though you might have one side that feels a little bit more comfortable, keep in mind that as you start getting onto transitions and things like that, sometimes the transition is gonna be better if you start on your left, so something else can end on your right or vice versa on that, okay? So making sure you're evenly working both sides, okay? Play around with this. As you get more comfortable with it, down the road, we'll be adding onto it.